and then we're going to send that form and now that will go via Zapier and we'll end up in our Google Sheet. Oh, there it is. It's just popped in and you can see. That. Hi, I'm Dan and welcome to Elements Dev Diary 67. Now, yesterday we looked at forms and I'm going to look at forms again today, but we're going to look at how webhooks work. Now, I know some people on the forum weren't really sure what webhooks were, but if you watch this video, you'll get a better understanding of that. But essentially, webhooks are a way to send data from one application to another, especially in relation to the web. So what we're going to do, we're going to take our form data, so any um, time that form is filled in, it will get sent to an online application that can then do something with it. Um, and in our case, we want to put it in a Google spreadsheet. So we're going to go via a service called Zapier. So the form will send the data to Zapier and Zapier will take that and pass it on to Google uh, Sheets. Now, you could use this for anything because Zapier supports like so many services on the internet. So you could send that off to MailChimp or your, um, you know, whichever uh, subscription service you're using, like you could send the data there. It's really flexible. But in this case, we're just gonna make it appear in a Google Sheet so we can collect some data. Before I dive into that, I did wanna say Elements is now in open access. So while the software is unfinished, you can use it. So if you're watching this and you haven't purchased Elements yet, you can go to the website elementsapp.io and go and purchase a copy. And then you can give us feedback um, and get early access and start learning Elements and start building your sites with it today. Um, and we can get that good feedback loop going that a lot of our users already have where we're building the software for them to make sure it meets their needs. All right, so let's dive into this. Um, so I've got this form here and let's hop over to Elements just so we can see it in the app. Now, I've set up things here. I've got my um, error message and my um, completion message at the top there. Those won't appear on the live form as you saw. Uh, they're just here so we can design them. Now, this is our form set up here and um, it's a basic testimonial form that we're gonna use for the example of this demo and you can go and use it afterwards. I'll give you the URL. But we've got these fields here and you'll see I've got, um, this is important when um, when we look at how it works, how the web hooks work. So you need to give these things names. So as this is a name field, I've just called this one name and then we've got email here. And then for this select list, um, we've got uh, found via, because this is, uh, I want people to tell us where they found it. And then this one is called testimonial. So we can hook all these things up to um, we want to pass this data through to a Google Sheet um, and then just a little checkbox saying whether we can use it or not. Now to set up a webhook let me highlight the form and in the settings at the top here we have a choice whether we can send it via email and that would be standard email you know you need to put in your host and your password and stuff like that and then the data from this would just get sent your email address which is fine for a lot of use cases or you can select this webhook option. Now you'll need to provide a webhook URL and this is something that Zapier has given us. So now this is, um, let's go and look at Zapier and I'll show you how that is set up. So when this button is pressed, any data that's entered into here is going to be sent to this Zapier URL. So let's open up Safari and I'm gonna to go to Zapier. I've got it open here and these are, um, this is how I have it set up. These are different, uh, they call them zaps. So um, they do different things, but we're interested in the elements form demo. If you're uh, going to be doing this, then you would create a new one. But let's click into the elements form demo. And um, what we've done is I've created a webhook component um, and it gives me this URL. And this webhook URL is the one that we want to put in elements or the one that is here that I've already put in there. Um, so we know our form knows where to send the data. So that's what you need there. And then um, let's just edit this so we can um, actually test the setup here. If I continue this, um, it's given me the URL and then what I can do is when you come to set this up, this is what you'll have to do. You'll go through this setup process um, 
and we're going to find new records. And these are tests that I've already submitted to this URL. So here you can see this. Um, it gives me these uh, tokens from the webhook from my form so this is the data that's been passed through so we can see that's working and then when I go into the Google Sheet um, component again this is we just click add step if I wanted a new step here then I could um, I could also you know send the data to MailChimp if I wanted to uh, but let's delete that because I don't want to do that at the moment. So I could send this data to multiple places. So when this form comes through, you know, you could sign people up to uh, if they wanted to be signed up to a mailing list and add their details to a Google Sheet. It's really powerful stuff, really flexible. But we're just doing this Google Sheet for now. So um, I've got this set up. I've hooked it up to uh, my Google account. And I've, the action is I want to create a spreadsheet row. So we continue with that. And in here, we pick the sheet that we want to write to, and then we link up the um, the form data from the webhook to the fields. So um, let's continue with this. Now we've already published this, so this is working. But what we'll do is let's go and see how this works in practice, and then we can come back and add another field so you can see how I would um, how you would actually do that. So uh, let's go, uh, I've got my Google Sheet open here, which is empty. And you can see I've just got the headers at the top for the name, email, found via, etc. cetera. Um, and this is the page, let me just refresh this. So uh, let me just put in my details here. So I'm just filling in this form and this is um, what you can do. Uh, I'm gonna say, where did we hear about elements? I'm gonna say other here, cause um, yeah. We made it, so, <laughs> I to, so I don't know where I heard about it from. Right, uh, what do you like most about Elements? It's awesome. And can we feature this testimonial on our website? Yes, I think that would be good. And now I just click the Send Form button and it says, thanks, message received. So now this data has gone to Zapier. Um, Zapier has processed it and is gonna send it onto our Google Form. So if we go to our form, uh, our Google Sheets, you can see the data has been entered just like that. So really good stuff. Now let's go ahead and add um, another form just so you can see how you link those things up in practice. So let's duplicate this one. Um, what feature is missing? And we'll call this one missing. So what feature is missing? There we are. So we've added another um, field here that we want to capture and put into our uh, Google Sheet. So let's publish this. So there we go. So it's publishing those changes. Now let's go back to Safari. What we need to do in here, we want to add another column and um, this one is going to be missing features. So that's set up in our sheet. So we know that's going to get added there. Now we need to go back to Zapier and we need to edit this. Um, but what I'm going to do first, I am going to submit some data on our form so that Zapier has something to work with. Uh, so let's just go and do this again. Uh, and let's just say word of mouth this time. Um, it's still great. Uh, what feature is missing? Forms. And um, let's send that. Okay, so that's sent. Let's go back to Zapier. And now uh, we want to, let's, uh, let's find new records. And because we just submitted a new record, it should be this one here at the top, um, missing. Yeah, so there's our new um, form field that we added. So that's great, continue with selected record. And now um, we've continued on to the Google Sheet. And what we need to do, um, oh, we need to refresh the sheet to get the new form names. So I think we can just press this one. And there we go, we've got the missing features form field. And I need to tell uh, Zapier that we want to take um, the, the data from the webhook and put it into this field. So it says there I can do forward slash 
And because this is missing feature, we called our form field missing. So I pop that in there, continue. That all looks good. And we say publish and we'll just call this. I think we're up to five because I did some tests before this. Let's publish this. Boom. OK, so now this is live. That's great. And we can go back to our. Um, yeah. So you can see this is uh, it doesn't have any data here. And that's because when I submitted this, it didn't have the we hadn't linked it up in Zapier. But let's go and um, let's refresh this. And um, we'll enter another one. Let's just say James. I'm just making something up here and he heard about it on YouTube. Um, let's say he likes it because it's a native Mac app. Um, not sure it seems perfect to me. OK, and then we're going to send that form. That's done. And now that will go via Zapier and we'll end up in our Google Sheet. Oh, there it is. It's just popped in. And you can see now we have the new um, missing features being logged. So when any, whenever anyone fills that in, it will get added to here. So this is a really nice way to work. Now, it might look quite complex to set up, but once you've done this yourself and you get into the habit of doing this, it's actually quite straightforward and really, really powerful. Um, so like I said, uh, let's edit this. This is, you can do so much with this because you can configure these steps and they have like there's thousands of services. You can just see some of these here where I could send this data. Um, you know, I could send it to Notion. Uh, I could send it to Slack. So when someone fills this in, um, it could message us in our team Slack and let us know the what new testimonial there is. Um, there's just so many things you can do and there's um, conditional things you can put in and just branch things off really powerful um, yeah so once you get uh, used to using this whoops um, you'll find you can do anything with it so that was a quick look at forms in elements and the how webhooks work now webhooks will only be available in the pro version of elements um, because it is quite a niche feature, very powerful feature. And this works because our form system has, when you publish this, it actually publishes a little web app with it, a little API that handles um, this data and handles sending a webhook. So we make it look simple, but behind the scenes, there's been a lot of work has gone on to make this feature work. And that is why you don't see this in other Mac apps, like other website builders. They don't have this feature and it's really powerful. And I think once you get your hands on this and you start thinking about what you could do with it, it really opens up a world of possibilities. Okay, all right, uh, that's it for this one. Um, post your comments in the uh, forum and let us know if you have any questions about this, as about how it will work, etc. Uh, and we'll get back to you, but I hope that's given you a good idea. So uh, that's it for this uh, video and the forms will be in a build of elements very soon. Um, we're just doing some finishing touches to it, like I said before. So, but as you can see, really shaping up. All right, thanks for your feedback so far and I will see you in the next one. Cheers, bye.